So we promised to make a video about all the stuff that is coming to Unity in 2019. And the amount of features is frankly overwhelming. So buckle up, you're in for a ride. But first, this video is sponsored by Cinti Studios. Cinti Studios is a leading asset store publisher that makes super cool stylized art packs for game developers. The packs are easy to use, great for beginners and fun for prototypes and jams. And frankly, they are just gorgeous. Cinti has over 70 art packs on the asset store with themes like city, sci-fi, fantasy, and many more. So no matter what theme you're going for, these packs will help you get started. For a limited time, you can get 25% off using the code CintiBrackies25. And this even includes their latest pack, Polygon Sci-Fi Space. I mean, just look at those colors. If you want to check out their stuff, there's of course a link for that in the description. So Unity just held their official GDC keynote, and here we got some exciting news. One of the things that I was most excited to see was the new demo from the Atom demo team. It's called The Heretic, and it looks absolutely amazing. Never mind the fact that I had to look up what heretic means. Now I just can't wait to talk about this one, so I'm gonna jump straight into it. Unity has partnered up with Havoc, which is an amazing physics engine, to create an all new physics engine for Unity called Unity Physics. It's based on DOTS, which probably means that it's going to be really performant and lightweight, and it's built with networking in mind. And on top of that, they've also added integration with the Havoc physics engine, also using DOTS, which means that we can now get to choose between Unity physics and Havoc physics, depending on the needs of your game. Havoc being really great for a more complex physics simulation. Also, on another note, real-time ray tracing is now a thing in Unity with an experimental build available on April 4th. The demo for this was just stunning. Personally, I'm still a bit confused as to when this super realistic looking technology will be usable in actual game scenarios. So I'm just looking forward to trying it out and seeing what it will do to future Unity games. Also, and I called it at the beginning of the stream, Joachim did wear the pink shirt once again. That man never disappoints. Neither did he in terms of features. He talked about DOTS, which is the new name for ECS, the c -sharp job system and the Burst Compiler combined. This entire tech stack is insanely powerful, and he showed that it's starting to get more integrated into the editor, which makes it much easier to start wrapping your head around. Also, huge congratulations to everyone involved with the AR demo. This time it went really well, and I think we all know how nerve-wracking a live AR demo can be. Good job! But the real meat, as always, was in the roadmap talk that was held at the booth later that week. Here they gave a really good overview of what to expect from Unity in the coming year. Which is also why I don't understand why they don't make this a main event. Luckily, we went there and here's what they showed. With version 2019.1, Unity has Quick Search. I think this is actually a really big deal, since it's such a useful tool for beginners and it's one of my favorite parts about using Blender, so it's really nice to see this coming to Unity as well. As for Project Tiny, it's currently in preview, you can try it out now using the Package Manager. Timeline is getting markers that allows you to jump to a certain part of the timeline and signals, which is basically like event triggers, so that's really nice. The SRP core and lightweight are production ready for 19.1. Yay! <laughs> and it has the ability to create custom render passes through the editor, which allows you to create really cool effects without writing code like you see here on the characters. On the screen here is all the new stuff coming to HDRP in 19.1. That is just a lot and I can't wait to play with it. Shader Graph is now getting production ready and it has nested subgraphs, which makes it so much more usable in larger projects. VFX Graph is coming to lightweight over version 19.1 and 0.2. Post-processing has now been integrated into HDRP along with some improved effects. 2D and Lightweight is slowly getting more integrated with a specific 2D renderer for Lightweight and a 2D master node for Shader Graph. And at this point they mentioned Text Mesh Pro, and judging by what they showed here, there are no real plans to integrate it further into the editor and have it replace the current system instead of what it is right now, which is basically like a new system beside the old one. Personally, I'm a bit confused by this move and would like to see TextMesh Pro just completely replace the old system. The Cinemachine team is as always providing some solid updates throughout the year and Cloth is back in the engine. Good to see you Cloth, you've been missed. In the roadmap they also mentioned something called runtime animation rigging. Apparently this is some kind of in-editor rigging. 
I don't know, but it sounds pretty cool. Of course, they went over a lot of stuff that we've heard about before. Here's a list of when you can expect to see it. The new input system is also finally being released as a package in 2019.1. I really wonder why this wasn't part of the keynote, since it feels like such a huge improvement. Now finally, we got some more information about the new multiplayer system. In fact, they showed this graph of the tech stack. It looks pretty much as you would expect, but the cool thing about the new networking system is that it's based on dots. And as you can see from this slide, it's still very much being built. What I'm really interested to see is how this will be built into the editor. Will we see a similar component-based approach as we did with UNet or something else? In terms of hosting, it's powered by Multiplay, which is also the tech behind Apex Legends, Titanfall and Rocket League, so I imagine they know what they're doing. They also talked a bit about matchmaking, but it seems to still lack a lot of needed functionality like groups, latency-based matchmaking and the ability to join in progress. But kudos to Unity for being so transparent on this one. Also, Unity has partnered up with Vivox for in-game communication, which is free for up to 5,000 users, so that's pretty nice. Now, Unity Collaborate is also being improved, which was definitely needed. Version 2.0 is out as a package for 19.1, with a lot of important functionality like branching coming in 19.3. You can now also add notes to game objects and assets which sync over the cloud, so that's pretty cool. Visual scripting has been moved to 2020.1. Of course, it's too bad that we'll have to wait since the more I hear about this feature, the more excited I get. It's built for dots, which means that it's gonna be super fast and everything about it just looks delicious. And to those of you who watched Google's announcement on Stadia, Unity will be supporting it. Latency, only time will tell. So as you can see, there are quite a bit of new features coming in 2019. These days, a lot of features are being introduced in a preview state, which I think is really great because we get to try them out early and help improve on them. However, one thing that I've noticed with a couple of features is that after the initial launch, development seems to slow down, which is too bad because they only need the final 10% to be really there. TextMesh Pro, ProBuilder, PolyBrush, the new input system and the NavMesh components have all been introduced a while back, but I'm still waiting on them to be completely finished either in terms of UI or functionality. I think the most important thing that got me to fall in love with Unity was how everything felt like it was designed to fit together as one simple as can be tool, and I think finishing these features would make sure the engine keeps being coherent and easy to use. For example, when you want to create a piece of text for your UI, do you choose text or text-textmesh pro? Most beginners would probably choose the ordinary text object, but at this point, as far as my experience goes, TextMesh Pro is pretty much better in every way. Now, just to be totally clear, I love all of these new features and I think they are really great, which is also why I think it's so important that we give them the time and attention that they deserve. Hashtag to ring love, please. Because ultimately, for me at least, what got me to choose Unity over other alternatives like Unreal wasn't the amount of features or the state-of-the-art rendering. It was the intuitiveness and simplicity of the tools. And I think it's these qualities that has made Unity so popular, because they allow beginners and teams with fewer resources to make really cool and unique games. However, Unity is giving plenty of love to a lot of features. Shader Graph and VFX Graph are outstanding and getting better every day. The Shuriken Particle System team continues to amaze me. Cinemachine has been improved on so much since released and Nested Prefabs is just a really solid and great to work with system. So keep it up, Unity. Now there are of course a bunch of features that we haven't talked about. If you want to learn more, we'll have a link to the keynote as well as the release note for Unity 19.1 in the description. And if you like this video, consider supporting us on Patreon. Patreon is a great way for you to support us with a monthly donation of your choosing and you can cancel it at any time. Just go to patreon.com slash Also, don't forget to check out Sinti Studios using the code SintiBrekis25 to get 25% off on their amazing assets. On that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in March and a special thanks to Infinity PPR, Cyborg Mummy, Dennis Sullivan, Chris, Shane Cleveland, Faisal Marify, Lincoln Chung, Liu Lasset, Runin, Daniel Dusanik, Konstantinos Karensas, Naoko Iwasaki, Gregory Pierce, Rob Fern, Dr. Poon Moon, Erasmus and Kyrus Svideski. You guys rock!